Thank you for joining us on Facebook Live today. Uh, we're here to talk about Giving Tuesday. I'm Amy Keenan with Rochester Regional Health, and I have Michelle Grizoulis, who is our president for Rochester Regional Health Foundations. Thank you so much for joining us. Happy to be here. Good. Um, how does it feel? You're on this side of the seat now. <laughs> I'm not used to this. <laughs> Honestly, it's different. It's really different. I have a greater appreciation for what it's like to be sitting in the other chair. But I'm happy to be here, of course, today talking about uh, Giving Tuesday and philanthropy. Good, good. So uh, again, if you have questions uh, that you'd like to ask, you can feel free to add those in our comment section and we'll do our best to uh, follow up with you. So Giving Tuesday, we'll get to that in just a few moments here, but I wanted to talk about uh, more of the Rochester Regional Health Foundation. Great. Um, the important work that you and your team have done for our health system and the community. So talk to us, the viewers, yeah. about the Rochester Regional Health Foundation. Great. Um, so we have great jobs that we do in the foundation, and I'm really pleased and proud to lead the organization. There's about 40 employees upstairs who do fundraising for all of Rochester Regional Health, and that includes all of our hospitals. Uh, so Newark, Wayne, Clifton Springs, United Memorial Medical Center, Unity and RGH, as well as all of our extended care facilities uh, and physicians and um, programs that we have across the community. So we do all the fundraising, programmatic fundraising. We do fundraising that supports capital projects. And uh, our goal is really to raise additional dollars to support vital projects that happen across Rochester Regional Health. And we love what we do. We really do. That's great. Yeah. That's really fantastic. Uh, you mentioned nonprofit. Mm -hmm. um, so what does that mean in, for a health system? Well, in simple terms, what it means when we talk about philanthropy is, you know, we, we strive as a non-for-profit health system to cover all of our expenses. And then after that, we use those, that additional revenue, if you will, to invest in the health system and to cover all the things that are related to patient care. But the reality is where philanthropy years ago was a nice to do, it's a need to do today. Um, there aren't, I don't know of any not-for-profit health systems or not-for-profit organizations across the country or globe that aren't reliant on philanthropy to really help fund things that can't be covered through expenses. And as I like to say all the time to donors, um, it's not that we wouldn't make those investments if we didn't have philanthropy, but philanthropy allows us to do things sooner than we might otherwise be able to do them. Okay. So it's a vital piece of how we advance care across the entire region and community that we serve. Good. Okay. And Michelle, why are donations so important? Well, you know, I, I, the way I, I think about it is um, there's stuff that we know we need to do. For example, um, donor, donor dollars fund programs across our community like our Health Care for the Homeless yeah. program that has been and continues to be donor funded that provides health care to thousands of people in our community who are homeless who otherwise would not have access to medical care or dental care. And we couldn't do those things if we didn't have donor dollars that support our health system. Um, Donor dollars make a difference every day in the delivery of care, and oftentimes it's invisible to our employees and it's invisible to the community, but there is, I would say, rarely a day that goes by where someone isn't touched by something in our health system that has been enabled through philanthropy. Okay. Wow. Fantastic. Um, again, if you have questions, you can certainly add those in our comment section below. I'm Amy Keenan with Michelle Grizoulis here to talk about Giving Tuesday. Um, what are ways that our viewers can help donate? Sure. Um, so today's about, so giving, let's, talk, I know we're going to talk about Giving yeah. Tuesday, but I'm going to just talk a little bit about it because we're okay. sort of there right now. Okay. But on a daily basis or on a weekly basis or after Giving Tuesday is over, there's lots of ways to support the health system. As I mentioned, I have a team of 40 people upstairs who um, do fundraising or support fundraising. And so you can support the health system through an annual gift. You can support the health system through uh, making a gift to a program or acquire a piece of technology. And I'll give some examples of that in a moment. Um, but the best way to do that, if you aren't currently engaged, is just reach out to the foundation at 922-4800, and someone in my office can connect you with a gift officer. Um, and there's also ways in the community to encourage the people that are in your social networks to help support us. We uh, do a lot of third-party fundraising, um, crowdfunding, peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, so lots of ways to support us. Um, and we encourage the community to become involved in that. But today's about Giving Tuesday. Yes. And um, so if you don't mind, I'm just going to jump in. Please. And, so Giving Tuesday is all about supporting our community. It is a community-wide 
day that's focused on raising money to support projects all across uh, our community. And for us, it's an opportunity to extend our reach and it's a global day of giving uh, nationally, but for us at Rochester Regional Health, it's about saying make an investment in the work that we do. Um, and today, we have directed all of the giving to Lipson Cancer Institute. Wow. Which is really exciting. Oh, that's wonderful. It yeah. really is great. So there's a lot that happens at Lipson Cancer Institute, okay. um, which is why we chose them. Okay. Um, for those of you who might have been at our gala, we directed all of our gifts this year from the gala to Lipson Cancer Institute. And probably a small known fact, uh, is that we have about 45,000 outpatient visits a year at Lipson Cancer Institute. That's a lot. That is a lot. We have 4,500 new cancer and blood disorder patients on an annual basis. We have 250,000 patients participating. 250,000 or 250, Christine? 250. 250 patients participating in clinical trials this year, which is wow. really significant. Yeah. Um, and so we wanted to find a way to aggregate giving today to Lipson Cancer Institute. And those dollars will help support the acquisition of new technology um, in the Center for Critical Care. It also helps us invest in things that otherwise we might not be able to do. And I, I want to give a shout out and an example of the impact of donor dollars. We have a uh, gift last year that came in that enabled us in the Lipson Cancer Institute to acquire three new types of technology. Um, surface guided radiation therapy, interoperative, interoperative radiation therapy, new uh, software to run our lung cancer screening program. Why does that matter? We wouldn't have been able to do that right. as quickly as we were able to if it hadn't been for philanthropy. Right. Um, so it makes a difference and it allows us to do things sooner than we might otherwise be able to do them. Sure. So it's really exciting. It is very exciting. Thank yeah. you so much for sharing that You're information. Welcome. You're welcome. Um, again, can you tell our viewers how they can participate in ways to donate? Absolutely. Um, so today, we would like to try to get as many people giving through really easy technology. So if you text RRH Give to 243-725, you'll be taken to a link that will allow you to give right away on your phone. Um, you also can visit rockhealth.co. I'm cheating to make sure I get it right. It's rockhealth.co forward slash Giving Tuesday, and that will take you to a link for directed giving today to the Lips and Cancer Institute. Um, if you have questions about that today, feel free to call the foundation again, 922-4800. And you can also visit rochesterregionalhealth.org and there's a link to give and it will route you to our um, homepage as well if, if you forget those other two ways to give. Great, thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, is there anything else you wanna add about Giving Tuesday? No, I wanna thank the community. So, yes. you know, it's rarely, as we started out, it's rarely the opportunity mm -hmm. I have to be in mm -hmm. this position talking about the work that we do in the foundation, but mm -hmm. We are profoundly grateful for the support that we get all across the community, um, not just today, but every day. And there is so much good enabled through philanthropy. And I invite anyone listening who wants to learn more to reach out. We would love to show people all the amazing work being done uh, through philanthropy. And from the bottom of my heart, on behalf of everybody in the foundation, thank you for what you do to support Rochester Regional Health. We are eternally grateful. Absolutely, yes, wonderful. Well, again, if you have questions, Feel free to add those in the comment section below. And Michelle, thank you so You're much for your time today, You're very taking welcome. it out of your busy work schedule. No, it's very important. We appreciate it on this Giving Tuesday. And thank you so much for joining us. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome.